Okay, Okinawa. Like I said earlier, Okinawa, very different from the rest of Japan. In fact, if you go outside Tokyo and you look for a beach, you're definitely not going to find one like this. It's, Okinawa is known for its marine life and its unique traditions. If you look at this, this dress here, this is much different from the geisha we saw earlier. And we have a giant aquarium. The speech? Well, there's, there's, there's quite the difference from what I've heard. I've actually never been there. But I, I know sometimes it's almost incomprehensible for other Japanese. So Japan has many unique traditions. Like the US, we have Halloween, Easter. In Japan, a, this is called Seiji no Hi. So in the US, at what age do you become an adult? At 18. In Japan, it's 20. Here we have Hatsumode, which is the New Year's Day. And here's Obon. Obon is a Buddhist festival where Japanese believe that their ancestors, the spirits of their ancestors, come back to visit them. And they have many firework festivals in Japan, especially during the summer. Okay, so you may have, you may have seen the performance earlier. There are many martial arts in Japan. Of course, you have the most traditional being sumo. Karate. Does anybody know what this is? Oh, right over here. Yes. Aikido. Aikido. You're you're close. It's it's judo. Judo. And we have kendo down here. But the most popular sport in Japan is baseball. baseball right. <laughs> and let me tell you, from going to a high school game in Japan, and I I recommend this to anybody who goes to Japan. Don't go to a professional game. Go to a high school game. Japanese take this to a whole nother level. The intensity at these games is amazing. In fact, when, you're, when your team is batting, the entire, all supporters are standing up and chanting and stomping. It's very intense, and it's, it's quite the experience. I can see why they've taken two World Baseball Classics in a row now. Of course, many Japanese players who like to play here in the U.S. We have Matsui Ichiro and Matsuzaka. Any Boston Red Sox fans? Oh, we've got a couple over here. All right, Tokyo, we, often when people think about Japan, they think of technology. This is a vending machine, but it's no regular vending machine. You can take your Suica card, which is like a smart pass card, and you just wave it in front of the machine, and you, can, you get whatever you want to drink. So it's like, our, it's like being in the metro, except you can buy things with it. PlayStation 3, of course. And robots. Many Japanese think of robots. This robot is made by Honda, which also makes many... Cars, right. So how many people in here drive Japanese cars? Probably over a half. I would, I would, I would guess over a half. Uh, recently, Toyota overtook GMC as the largest seller of cars in the U.S., but these cars are often made in the U.S. now. So they're Japanese, but they are made in the U.S. Most Japanese, however, take public transport. This is a, a, a unique picture down here. I don't know if you can see this, but... This man's job is to shove people onto the train. <laughs> yes. So it's much different than here in DC. I know that when a full train stops in DC and I walk to the door, I get these looks like, you better not come in. Well, they, during rush hour on certain lines in Tokyo, they are just crammed onto these trains. I've actually never been on a train like this. I think I would probably wait for the next one. But if you want to go luxuriously, we have the bullet trains. Bullet trains traveling over 190 miles per hour. It's basically an airplane on the ground. Here's a traditional Japanese house. And you may be thinking, but wait, I thought Japanese people lived in these small, tiny little houses. Well, they do in many of the cities. But this house, even though it is big, may, there may be three generations of a family living in this house. So there is not a lot of space to go around. Of course, what do we have here? Does anybody know? Any guesses? Rice. Yes. I'm so glad you didn't say grass. Everybody says grass. Yes, Japanese, there are rice paddies anywhere they can put them in Japan because there's not a lot of arable land. And the rice production is very important to Japanese life. Here's a traditional Japanese, two traditional Japanese houses or rooms. Of course, tatami mats. Everybody sits very close to the floor. You may have a zabuton or a little cushion to sit on. And every, it's much different than a Western house. And in fact, if this was my bedroom, 
I would probably have my futon in this closet, and I would pull it out at night. I would sleep on it in the morning. I put it. I take it outside. I bat it out, and then I put it back in the closet. And that's all just to make as much to make as much use with the space you do have. Over here we have another traditional Japanese room. This is where tea would be made, right here inside the house. In fact, it would be very smoky. So, uh, a bathtub. Why is there a bathtub in this in this presentation? Well, here in the U.S., I think. I can speak for most of us when, we, when I say that we take showers. In Japan, I, I would say 90% 90, 90 of Japanese take baths, and baths are taken after you eat dinner. But this bath is a bit special. If you look over here, you can see there's a little box. So I can go to this bath and program it to give me, say, 40 gallons of 70 degree water at 7.30. And then I put the cover over the top of it, and I walk away. It's pretty cool. But you do not wash inside a Japanese bath. In fact, that is really, that's kind of taboo. You wash outside the bath, and you, when you want to soak, you get inside the bath. Now, the reason for that is, is once you're out of the, out of the water, your, your brother or your sister or the next one down is probably going to use the same bath water. So you want to be nice and clean before you get in. I'm glad, I'm glad I didn't hear any ewes. I usually get a lot of ewes. That's why you wash well before you get in the bathtub. Not all Japanese houses are traditional. As you can see here, this, this, this apartment has a, has a bed. In fact, most of my Japanese friends use beds. They're much easier. Uh, but you still find a lot of people sleeping on futons. So in Japan, we have the modern and the old, and we have toilets. Yes. Another unique aspect, this is, this is probably the most technologically advanced toilet you've ever seen, I can guarantee you. This is actually called a washletto, and as you can see, there are many buttons. I'm not going to go into detail about what these buttons do. I think it's quite obvious. But my only advice is if you go to Japan and you use one of these toilets, unless you're feeling kind of crazy, don't just start pushing buttons. <laughs> Here is a very traditional Japanese toilet, and you'll find these maybe at train stations. And that's just a hole in the ground. So this takes a lot of work to get used to, this toilet. All right. As Japan has, is very volcanic, there are also many hot springs. And the, the ritual for entering a hot spring is the same as a bathtub. You wash very well, and then you go in the water. There is, however, no bathing suit involved. So I know many Americans, when they go over, like, oh, I'm not going to get naked with a bunch of strangers. But it really, once you get used to it, it's fine, it's very pleasurable. And some of these hot springs are located on the very top of mountains. So you can go outside, you're outside sitting and looking across the valley and hot spring. It's really just, it's wonderful. This is especially good after you're done snowboarding or skiing in the mountains. Of course, here's one that's outside. You can find many natural hot springs. And since everybody loves hot springs, Monkeys do too. So, I've never been to a hot spring with a monkey yet. I, I say I might be a bit apprehensive about entering the water, but there are places where there are where monkeys are in the hot springs. Okay, Japan and DC. There's many re, many Jap, many resources uh, concerning Japan and DC. In fact, our job here at the JICC is to tell you about Japan. So, if you have any questions regarding Japan, anything at all. Contact us, and we will answer you. That is our job. All right, that's it for the presentation today, and we will have the tea ceremony meeting following immediately after. Thank you very much.